Happy Independence Day! Today we are celebrating Malaysia's Independence Day with over 100,000 other people. We may not have found the best spot to watch the parade. Guys, you'll never believe it, we got the best spot in the house. But we did have an incredible celebration meeting so many people and just having the most amazing time. The chocolate bun! The chocolate bun! From trying to get the best view of the 17,000 people on the parade, including those who jumped out of the helicopter, to trying to learn the national anthem. What did we just say? This celebration was incredible and we can't wait to take you along with us. Let's go! What is happening, beautiful people? We are Silky and Kieran, and we're in our 10 year honeymoon world trip. And today we are feeling just a little bit tired. Mm -hmm. Yesterday we went to celebrate at Dataran Merdaka. It was amazing. It was such a great celebration. We actually went home a little bit early so that we could capture this footage of the fireworks. How beautiful is that? We didn't get to sleep until after 12.30. And set our lunch for 3 o'clock so oh we my could God. get up and walk to the train station, get the train all the way to Putrajaya and we have arrived. There are so many people here mm. already. Now we're all just quietly waiting. It's insane, there's so many people but it's very, very quiet. I found Malaysia is super, super polite. After every performance last night, there was like a round of applause and then silence as everyone waited for the next act. It was like in Scotland, we were all like, here we, here we, here we go, here we. <laughs> it's crazy. Silke is saving our spot with our new friends on our nice mat and I have come out to see if I can find some food or coffee or both. One thing we have noticed though is it's super expensive here. Um, we saw like a normal coffee was like six ringgit, which it's usually like three ringgit. I understand it is a big parade here, but um, the vendors should realize, you know, if you just you just make the prices normal, you're gonna make a whole lot more sales. But let's see, I'm sure we can find something. It's like packet noodles here. It's a funny thing, I've never seen this before. That is not bad. I think I saw there like one ringgit, so um, that's a potential breakfast. But I think first on my mind is coffee. I decided to go for one big mango cup. It's 10 ringgit, which is pretty expensive, but I know Silky will love it, so um, that is a big ass mango juice. Wow! Yay! Thank you, baby. This is a huge freaking shake, but it'll be so nice. Mm. Wow, it's like pure mango. I just realized I saw him adding something that I didn't know what it was. It's ice cream. So this has like a big scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. Sit up, sit up. It's starting! Or at least we think. Someone's doing a sound check. It feels like home. I hear bagpipes. One thing you might not know is I actually have played bagpipes my whole life, so um, I'd love to try a set today. I haven't played them in a long time, but I've played them for like 15 years pretty consistently. They just turned out the streetlights. I think it's on time for sunrise because the sunrise colors are looking beautiful. Wow, it's now starting for real and everybody just moved in all together yep. to the front. In a way, we're actually really lucky to have this um, mat that our friends invited us onto because, um, yeah, no one's going to stand really in front of us, so we still got room to boogie. Also, there are so many freaking people, like thousands and thousands, but we yeah. haven't seen any westerns yet. No, nope. not even one. Mm -mm. Oh, I see, I see oh, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's two. The atmosphere here is amazing. Everybody is super happy and singing. Yeah. And we don't know the lyrics. I don't think anyone else knows the lyrics to the second verse. The first verse was super vibrant. The second verse, we were like. <laughs> it's almost 8 o'clock and oh wow, we're falling asleep. We don't know if we're in a good part because it seems like we're at the start of the whole parade so we might have to move spots. No way, not moving spot. No way. Imagine taking a step that way. 
Everyone would oh, have no, to stand up. No, no possible. Uh, no way. <laughs> no possible. She's also falling asleep. Go chop the bunch! It's the national anthem. So there's no point in sitting there. It's so crazy. Isn't there are people just sitting around here, and they can't see anything. They're just listening to the to the voice of the tannoy. Okay, so some people seem to be sitting watching live streams of it on their phone. I guess that's nice to be a part of the atmosphere. It doesn't matter where you sit, you just live stream it. Works. This place is chaos. People going always. People coming. People going. There's still a lot going on. Um, but we're gonna try and find a spot where we can get a slightly better view. Let's go! <laughs> I'm loving these red and white outfits. Like, I think it's maybe Air Malaysia. Do it something out of Star Wars. I love it. Chantik. Hello. Look how beautiful these guys are. These guys are incredible. You too. And TikTok. These guys are gonna subscribe, so I think that means you should too. Hello. Oh, we've had a few people recognizing us from TikTok and they're like, can we have a picture? Super cute. These kids are the real geniuses. They got the best spot. <laughs> We just had some crazy like how do you call plane that? stunts like fighter jets and crazy Apache helicopters and stuff. It was um It felt like the world war was going to start. <laughs> so guys are fear of the wars and I could see her she was filming, she's like it was <laughs> looking insane. everywhere. I've never seen a plane doing this in the air. Do you never believe it? We got the best spot in the house. I'm joking, it's over, but um, <laughs> this is this is the prime seat. Wow. That's a big road. And it is now a few hours later. We actually met some people along the way who yeah. we know from the internet. Yeah, the wonderful world of YouTube. And we ended up just chilling out with them, exploring more of Putrajaya. We explored the Iron Mosque. The Iron Mosque was really beautiful. We Super had actually beautiful. a guide. She told us everything. She shared like so much knowledge with us and she was so funny. She had some of the best humor. Sexy legs. Sexy legs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> we also from a distance explored the Pink Mosque. And yeah, just some of the streets of Putrajaya is a beautiful place. Very peaceful. But the whole experience of Independence Day, wow. It, it was, was amazing. It was incredible. We were a bit disappointed that we didn't have the best view, but that was maybe our fault for choosing a bad place. Yeah. But what we did see and the people we did meet, it was amazing. It was incredible. We 
100% do it again. Maybe we see you next time. Yeah, next year for Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Where will it be? Where will it be? Ah. Anyway, guys, we hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification All bell. of that good stuff. And we will see your beautiful faces on the next adventure. Ooh. Oh, and make sure to check out this playlist. Mm -hmm. If you like anything Malaysia, you're going to love this. Sit down.